All right. There's that wall, the edge of the world. Tall enough that it probably isn't climbable. What's going on? Why is there a wall? Whoa! That's a big skeleton. It'd be annoying to get back up here. But I'm teleporting anyway. Alright, let's check this thing out. I've noticed the enormous skulls around the place. What are these the boons of? What happened to them? Most of these have bokoblins living in them. Golden Great Skeleton. Whoa. Oh, yep. Most of them have bokoblins living in them, including this one. Hmm. Let's get rude. Only temporarily effective though. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, what do I actually want to use to fight them with? Maybe this? That's no good. It's not a good thing to hit people with. Oh shit, one of them just picked up the flame blade. Okay, I may need to get serious about this. Step one of getting serious. Heal and become resistant to the damage they're dealing. Uh, or just heal, I guess. I'll heal and get it fast. Step so two of serious. Change into some gear. That's actually useful when you're not exploring a mountain. I've got my new cool anti-guardian suit. I mean these guys aren't guardians, but it looks so good. I'm actually a bit low on good weapons. Well, I'm even lower now. Okay, well this weapon literally lets me use a shield, so that's beneficial. Holy shit, there's actually quite a lot of reasonably powerful enemies. At least I got spare flame blades from fighting them. I guess this is where fire resistance as opposed to flame proof would come in handy. I don't think I actually have any. Oops, that's not the one I wanted. I meant to eat. Ah oh, well. Ow. My flame bay broke. But I got another one from the That was actually a serious battle. So, what melee weapons do I not want out of the ones I got? These rods can all go. We just had some fun with them, but.
We've got a flame blade and a great flame blade. Ah, that's not all. This guy is somehow unaware that I'm here, even though he's been wounded and everyone else has been wounded. Oh, it's night time. If they both go to sleep, that would be good. No. He wasn't going to sleep, he was trying to do his uh, chameleon camouflage thing. Nope. Okay. That's sneaking out where it works so well. The Elden Great Skeleton. It's a decent monster lair. What is the significance of these great skeletons? Do I have any bows worse than that one? Yes. Uh, although, this has the benefit of being made out of wood. I can always unequip things entirely if I'm in a thunderstorm. I'm getting close to the fabled North of Death Mountain. Some Goron has left a note saying they were training in that region. I think they just hit each other. Literally had to jump to hit that guy. This game's cool. Like, how cool a mechanic is that? But, like, enemy height matters, so it's like, oh, you have to hit this guy on the head. carrying in fact. So I'll drop my badly damaged one. This is also good because moblin horns are one of the things I need to upgrade gear with. This is not the full guardian set that I'm wearing. Not the full ancient set. I'm wearing a crown instead of the headpiece, which I haven't bought. I believe I need three ancient cores to buy the headpiece from Cherry. Robbie's robot wife. It's a chasm. What is it? It's like, um. Ah, oh, that's a fucking fireproof lizard. God damn it, they're out here as well, and I missed one. Wow. I didn't even know they would still be around here. I guess they're not only in boiling regions, so they may be more common. Lizard. some more normal arrows. Gotta visit various beetles. Somehow this has turned from rescue the Goron guy to upgrade armor to... 
Oh shit, what? Holy crap. Okay, it's 1.30 in the morning. I'm remembering that because these things have patterns. These dragon spirit things. Um, they go to specific places at specific times. If I'm going to eventually defeat some of them, which I want to do, I'm going to need to know how to catch them. So after midnight, this thing comes down the canyon. Heading northwest around Death Mountain. Where does it go? It goes over the Great Skeleton. That would be a good place to intercept it, in fact. As it seems to... Is it coiling around there? Wow. I can't catch up with it, but I'll remember this. Thomas will remember this. Hmm. So, I've found these shrines that are like, you know, Shrine of Courage, Shrine of Power, Shrine of Wisdom, and I've seen these dragon things, and I'm pretty sure they're connected together. One of the shrines is, in fact, literally got a, a corrupted dragon in it. And another shrine mentioned that I should uh, give it the scale of a spirit, I think. I suspect, and, uh, oh, and the third shrine, we shouldn't mention any such thing, literally uh, had an enormous statue of a dragon around it. So, I believe that in order to do something with the shrines, I probably need to fight those dragons. I have no idea how to fight them, given that they're like enormous flying creatures. I don't really know where to get a huge number of arrows other than by visiting Beetle at every... What is it? Visiting Beetle at every one of a number of different staples and buying them from him. Which requires, of course, a lot of money. Not that much. Arrows aren't that expensive. Presumably, to fight a dragon, I'd need a lot of arrows. I don't know, maybe they're willing to come down out of the sky under some circumstances. I was hoping to catch some arrows on my shield there. Ah. Okay, I need to actually kill this guy. Now I can catch arrows on my shield. Hey, he's armless. <laughs> If he misses me, can I pick the arrows up afterwards? Yeah, there's a lizard. I know this is not an appropriate time to be doing this, but... It worked somehow. This is a good way to get the arrows. Ah, some of them and some don't. Maybe they only stick into wooden shields and not metal ones. Well, I certainly have quite a lot of arrows. Oh, look at that. There's like a ridge over there. I mean, I know this game is not infinite in size. It feels like it, like it feels like you can go as far as you want in any direction. But of course it's not um, an unlimited adventure experiences. It's just very large. Uh, and so I know intellectually that I can't go over there, I can't cross that chasm, presumably. But uh, for a moment it kind of looked like I could. I've really got used to the promise of, oh there's a reachable thing over there. It's so cool, this is a fantastic video game.
The shape of these. Somewhat difficult to discern. But I think this block actually goes in the middle. That's what makes it look reachable. seen one of those before. I guess the Octorok picked it up in an ocean somewhere? Bird. Yeah, that's the kind of... Oh, what? Huh? Hmm. What is that? Let's get better at climbing. This, this is clearly something. But what thing? Is that ridge down there something I can stand on? Not sure. Oh, flowers. Swift Violet. Maybe it was kind of pointing my way to this reachable ridge. Hmm. I'm not sure this is a useful place to be. Kind of cool that you can get to it, but not useful. I've been deceived. Very pretty flower. Oh, that, that looks so much like a place you can glide over to, doesn't it? And kind of walk up there. Imagine how cool it would be to climb to the top of that. <laughs> if anyone is still watching these videos at this point, um, well, in that case you're probably the sort of person who agrees when I say how cool would it be to climb to the top of that. I know that to some people that is an inane statement and just not in any, sl any way appealing. But it really is uh, a huge part of this game's appeal to me. It's, um, you know, to see a cool thing, go and stand on it. I don't know why. I don't know why that's fun, but it is. Yeah, swift my level around here. I guess it just crews on this cliffs. That one wasn't special. Close on these cliffs, I should say, not the. Oh, ah. Uh, hmm. Uh. Maybe I should teleport out of here. <laughs> wow. I would like to see what's north of Death Mountain. You know what I'm going to do since I'm cycloning here? I'm going to put on an incredibly silly hat. Oh, yeah. Ravio's hood. Wearing it increases your sideways climbing speed. 
Oh. And then immediately after I say that, I stop climbing. Anyway, yeah. Look how fast this is. I hear strange noises. Perhaps something coming from above me. Or below? I don't think I can safely go much lower than I am now. Well, I did expect there'd be some Gorons working out around here. Maybe they're making weird grunts. Interesting jagged peaks. Alright, let's go up and over. Just gotta actually do this. I can make it. I know I can make it because I cooked quite a lot of stamina increasing food. I can drink that if I have to. I know now why it was that I thought my stamina wheel was decreasing more slowly when I was climbing earlier. It's because I've become used to the increased rate of climbing from this gear I'm currently wearing. And uh, with an increased rate of climbing, unfortunately, comes proportionally increased stamina usage. It doesn't save your stamina at all, it just means you move faster, which is still good. I like to go fast. It's not as horizontal a slope as it looked like. Well, I'm burning bonus stamina now. Oh crap. <laughs> Look at Link's feet, holy shit. They twisted almost vertical, his ankles, oh no, what is happening? I feel like I did something terrible there, but it worked out. Okay, so these aren't Gorons. Dang it. Soldier's armor, so I should use knight's gear. Also, a knight's bow. Do I have one? No, only steel little ancient and pretty. Because knights aren't as good as steel little bows or whatever. Hmm. I'm gonna give these guys a surprise. Let's give him a fun time. Hey, sup. Oh. That broke immediately. I kind of knocked them off the cliff, but it, uh, it didn't turn out that way. Okay, ineffective tactic. Instead I'll use weapons. I keep trying to charge that one three times instead of twice. I keep uh, underestimating how long it will take to do so. That's too tall! Holy shit. Literally too tall to fight comfortably. Maybe I should take a hint here. If they're really tall, I should use a really physically large weapon. There we go. 
that's a good way to fight several enormous guys at once. Kind of ironic that I'm the one with cold resistance here. So these guys were making the weird noises I heard earlier. Whoa. Gold rupee. I think this location qualifies as north of Death Mountain. Whoa. Hmm. There's something in there. A pin. I must have seen a shrine there from a long way off. Let's head up the mountainside and see if I can see it again. Indeed a shrine noise is happening, although it may not be the same one. from a shrine over here. Hmm, that's an interesting little region. I'll check that out in a sec. First, what I'm going to do up here, I'll look for some training Gorons. Oh, actually, maybe that region is where they'd be. I don't know, it is north of Death Mountain. Alright, well, let's get that way. Cool tower thing. Hmm. If I want to get onto that, I probably need to glide. Well, might be able to climb it. It's difficult though. Oh, updraft. Yeah, no problem. <gasps> there was a fireproof lizard there. So this is pretty cool. Check rock. There we go. That's the place I was looking for. And indeed, there is a shrine here. Show me your power. <gasps> Brutal. What? Sacred platform is only for true Goron men. Huh. Okay. How do I become a true Goron man since I'm not one? Pump it up. Let's do this. Let's get pumped. Uh, 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, the good news is I've got multiple pieces of armor, which includes increased climb speed and a speed potion. Pick up rupees. What? Physical, mental, and emotional limits. Well. Alright. 100 rupees. I will take the gut check challenge. This is it. The might of a true Goron. No, oh, except I'm not a Goron, so uh, in order to emulate the might of a Goron, I'll wear a rabbit hood. Green rupees aren't going to help much. I guess if I get enough of them, it will. Ah, I see. The rupee power increases. This is cool. I don't know how much time I can waste on grabbing extra rupees, but I guess once I get to 100, I'll stop. Oh no, there's one to the side here. More than half the time is gone. Oh fuck! I can. What the fuck? Are, are you kidding me? What the hell? Wasn't it? Bullshit! I'm calling bullshit. I wasn't able to turn around and grab onto the mountain for some reason. It's because you need a space to turn around the paraglider. That's the reason. I know this, but it's still bullshit. I would have made it. If I'd used a stamina potion there, I still would have made it. That one was entirely my fault. Right, it's no longer bullshit. Tough luck, my minuscule friend. Ah, and of course, to uh. Oh, hello. Oh, <laughs> I guess I'm not the only one who fell off. <laughs> Go on, Lee. <laughs> Beyond Macho. Okay. All right, let's try this again. Before I do, I'm going to use another. I'm gonna boost. 
Wait, no, I should have used that when I was low on stamina from climbing. Fuck. Because <laughs> they also heal your stamina. Ah! I can do it. No way a Goron can be tougher than me. It actually sounds extremely easy, doesn't it? Gorons are really tough. So I'm not going to take all the platforms this time um, to give myself more of a time uh, leeway. I can make it in time and go on all the platforms, but I don't have much of a margin for error if I do it that way. And there are more than enough gems on the mountainside, as it turns out. I believe the red rupees are worth 20? Let's test that theory. Don't fall. Notice how I was extra careful not to fall off this time. Right, so all I need at this point is three red rupees. The rest don't actually matter, and there's three red rupees right up here. In fact, I have so much extra time to spare here that I'll just grab a little extra cash. That was actually really easy. I took a better route and was smarter about it. Go! Unbelievable. The fourth blood brother. Thank you. The hard stuff. Uh, maybe I should, okay. Let me just activate this shrine. I mean, this this sacred platform of manliness. But uh, also, did you say something about an extra hard version of the challenge? Super gotcha challenge! Yes! What what is uh, how do you do it though? I'm guessing a shorter time limit or mi higher minimum of rupees. Train yet a smithereens! Let's do this! I'm glad you have to yell to accept the challenge. Oh wow! Oh, okay. So, I have to get 300 rupees. This could potentially be somewhat more difficult. This time around, I can't really ignore the blue rupees. And certainly not the red ones. So the time limit isn't actually reduced at all, we just need to collect a lot of rupees. Is that a silver rupee? Oh shit. Well that will help. I wonder if that was there before. Do, 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 do. 
So in fact, one more silver rupee and I've got it. I saw one more silver rupee. I want to know what's on that platform. But I don't want to know badly enough to... Oh, it's a green one. Okay. I don't need to pick this up, but I can afford to, I believe. Delicious. Pump it up. Yeah. <laughs> the body of a bitty baby, but the heart of a Goron warrior. Thank you for this injure shroom. Actually, it's oh, they're pretty good. You can actually make a good dish out of them. They use them to make those very uh, things I was eating before that fully refill your stamina and give you a bonus. <laughs> I will find out now whether this is one of the kind of shrines which give you the stuff inside for free for reaching it. Many shrines which you have to do a quest to access. I like that. However, this one might not be. Because it's not like the monk who built this shrine provided a shrine quest to reach it. The Gorons kind of did that. Oh. Maybe the monk knew this location would prove irresistible to Goron gym owners. Those are pretty good. They don't do as much damage as flame blades, but the freezing effect is really powerful. I have Sporb. Two Sporbs. How many hearts have I got there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 ish. I think when I first tried to pull out the Master Sword, I only had 8. So there's a real possibility this might be enough. Certainly, once I've. If I can rescue the Divine Beast Varudania. That, I believe, would give me a heart container. The last one did, anyway. So once that happens, I'll try Master Sword. I like the idea of getting it after two of the four Divine Beasts. Cool zone. Well, rather than climb pointlessly back up the mountain, Let's actually go down here. You know what I should do also? I should visit Tarrytown. I got them a Goron. Mm. Did uh, the guy, <coughs> Hudson, uh, of Bolson Construction, he needed me to bring a bunch of bundles of wood last time, so I'll also acquire some wood in the forest around the Great Fairy Shrine. Everything's coming together except my outfit, which is stupid looking. Let me change into something less embarrassing. It's terrifying. Okay. The diamond circlet, which I got from the labyrinth, um, also gives you guardian resist, like guardian armor does, and it goes well with this stuff, so...
I'm now stormproof. It sure does rain a lot in Akala. Every time I visit this region, I'm reminded of the rain quantity. What have I got that can chop? Ugh. Can you chop down trees with a club? Perhaps not. The thunderstorm seems to have finished, however. I know you can chop down trees with a sword. The reason I said the thunderstorm had finished is because my weapons weren't showing as um, zapping anymore in the inventory screen. Wood. are much better for doing this, but I haven't got an axe. Twenty-six wood. Thirty should be enough for anything, right? I think it was twenty bundles they wanted of me to build me a home in hate no. And ten that were needed for the first Town home. Deforested. Fairy Mia, please speak to me. Actually, let me just pick up some Amaranth. Now please speak to me. Enhance the way. Okay, what's it take? So one level is one lizard and two moblin horns. And that's plus two defense. Making it a bit less cramp. Like, the good defense armors at this point, when upgraded twice, have twelve defense. And this one was three to start. Now five. And I can enhance it a second time. Three fireproof lizards. Hmm. I think I actually farmed enough lizards and moblins that I can upgrade this set all the way. I mean, all the way to the plus two levels, which um, which I have enough fairies for, which might provide a set bonus. Yes, please. I've noticed that the Great Fairy's um, affectionate gesture varies based on how much she's enhancing it. Enhancing to level 1 is a breath of... a blow and a kiss, basically. Like so. Yeah, she blows a kiss. to enhance an item to level 2. Oh. She does an indirect oh. kiss. Kiss the finger, touch the violin. Yeah. And Link gets embarrassed. I can't see what it would take to enhance further since I don't have a third fairy. If it's more of the same, then uh, I'm eventually going to need a lot of lizards. But yeah, I got about the right number. I went overboard by a little, but only a little bit. Thank you. Yellow dot on the map. 
also reminding me that Varudania awaits. Can I turn it off? It's annoying. Terrytown. Hey, there's two houses there now instead of one. I guess the first one was where Hudson lived. And, uh, the second one is for Palson? Is that the name of the Goron guy? I hope they've got a bed I can borrow. It's six in the morning. Plays its own music and it's cool music. He's up early. Hey, I did send some Gorons back here. <laughs> Boulders don't stand a chance against them. All ah, right, not Palson, Pellison, and Grayson. Hmm. Twenty bundles of wood. Yes, I can. In fact, I have thirty bundles of wood. Well, first, I'll just talk to these guys. Or and more. Nice. Yeah. No, I'm not buying a diamond for 2,000 rupees, holy crap. Hello, little guy. Uh -huh. Hmm. So this place might have been formed by, like, a boulder flying out of the volcano and landing in the lake. Goron City is in fact too hot. <laughs> Being praised for moving rocks fast. The Goron dream. He does look happier. Let's check out their home. <laughs> Built on the Bolson modular plan, I see. And no, I cannot borrow the bids. Nice deck. Flower garden thing. Autumn leaves. <laughs> and the other Akala stable. <laughs> That wasn't quite what I meant to do, but whatever. This is going to be a nice little town if they can find enough people named Son to live in it. Alright, I've got some wood for you. <laughs> ah, okay. Oh, if I, if I find a Gerudo named Somethingson, I'll send her here. Welcome to Terrytown. Volcano, Kala Tower, Old Fort. I should destroy the Guardians up there at some point. Oh, I could get ancient cores from them. Hmm. This seems worth pursuing in reality. Let's do it.